So guys, welcome to our evening glass of art. <laughs> yeah, welcome to our evening glass of art where uh, our hosts are in different countries today. As you can see, I'm in Greece uh, near the- I'm Acropolis. in Warsaw. <laughs> And uh, Katia is in Warsaw at the Warsaw Spire, so we're both in amazing places. And today we're going to discuss uh, the newest trends uh, when it comes to uh, the art market. So Katia, could you tell us yes. a few words about uh, what do you think now is trending when it comes to art sales? Uh, when it comes to art uh, in trend uh, right now, I think there are stories stories behind each artwork clients are not only interested in beautiful paintings they are interested in how it's appeared what the idea is about and more and more um, art investors are interested uh, to know as well the artist and uh, to speak even with the artist and live what do you think about it yeah have you ha have you had such a situations that the clients well, were... uh, i did have a few situations where uh, there were uh, art collectors who were interested in buying artworks from the living artists. However, I've noticed from my own experience, uh, both as an artist, but also working at the gallery, that uh, you have two groups of people. You have those people who are investors and they're looking for something which has a stable value, which is not going to de de sort of lose its value quickly. So they're searching for artists who are either uh, deceased or uh, they're looking for living artists but usually these artists are slightly more advanced when it comes to age so they're like in their 70s 80s or 90s even and uh, a great example of such an artist is uh, Józef Wilkoń who's a famous uh, yes. Polish uh, illustrator he did um, illustrations for thousands of books all over the world he has a museum in Tokyo dedicated to his art and uh, well, yeah, he's an incredible, incredible artist. And right now he's uh, turning 93, so far as I know. And, uh, or he already is 93. And uh, his artworks have skyrocketed in terms of value. Just a few years ago, you were capable of buying, for example, an illustration for, for, for instance, 4,000 Zlatis. And right mm -hmm. now the same illustration is worth 12,000. So it tripled in terms of value and it's the same size, it's the same technique uh, mm -hmm. and uh, nothing else really changed. The point is, uh, there are people who are aware of the fact that Vilkong is quite advanced when it comes to age and therefore, well, to some degree, they are a bit taking advantage of the fact that since, uh, mm. well, we don't know how long he's going to live. They're buying the artworks now because they know that once he, well, once he passes, uh, the value will skyrocket very quickly yes, and yes. will triple again, or it might even go five times the value that it is right now. So this keeps on changing. And this is a, a bit of a sad truth when it comes to artists. This is quite common. This is a common practice. Uh, but we do also have investors who invest in younger artists, artists who are in their 30s, in their 40s, um, and also those who are like middle-aged. Yes. yes, that's right. And, uh, well, these people, they tend to purchase artworks for a fraction of the price, which is normally assigned to, for example, Bitcoin softwares. But at the same time, they also treat it as a long-term investment, right? Yes, it can yeah. be long-term and can be short-term as uh, with uh, every purchase of the artwork, investors are rising the popularity of the artist. So they are becoming the reason why the artist uh, becomes more and more successful. And it works yes, like exactly. this. It's not only mm -hmm. like financial investment and only buying the artwork. It's actually they are working uh, on their investment too as the popularity of this uh, artist uh, grows and grows. Yes, that's one thing. Another thing is uh, definitely investors, they uh, also try to collect so uh, yes. artworks from the person because the more artworks they have of the same person, the more valuable becomes the collection. So it is at their interest to uh, once they start collecting someone, to collect as many as they can uh, artworks created by the same creator. Uh, however, also we know that there is 
a bit of a diversification when it comes to artists because some artists will become very famous and some of them won't. And therefore, it's very hard to tell who in the future is going to triple in terms of their value or not. And that is why uh, you have these uh, long-term investors who purchase artworks from many, many different artists who are in their mm-hmm. 20s and 30s, mm-hmm. so young artists, even those who are like students, and they collect their artworks and then they wait yes. and they see yeah. who is the one who's going to sort of, uh, you know, shoot for the sky, metaphorically. Exactly. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so it's quite an interesting trend when it comes to that. Now, Katya, could you tell me a little bit more about um, what kind of, uh, what types of artworks are now very popular when it comes to investments, like in terms of technique? What can you say about that? From what I've noticed, uh, more and more popular are becoming artworks uh, as are, uh, let's have more advanced in technique, and they are uh, reminding uh, old paintings. In fact, so as uh, as we uh, we see before, uh, the abstract art uh, artworks uh, were very popular, but now I see that this trend is changing. As, uh, mm-hmm. for instance, uh, uh, the Polish artist Ewiuszkiewicz that becomes uh, really very rapidly successful. Uh, her yes. technique, uh, her technique is uh, quite advanced, and in her paintings, uh, her figures and the lady that she is painting, they are representing uh, classical. Uh, they are reminding classical paintings. What do you think about it? I think she's well, quite in trend. What she is doing hmm. right now. Well, no, she is very popular. I mean, there's no doubt about that. That's a that's a statement. I mean, her artworks sell for millions of dollars at this point. And she's one of the most successful living artists from Poland as we speak of today. Because there are other uh, artists from Poland who sell for even larger sums, but these people are already deceased. But when it comes to the living artists, she is top one in that respect. She has achieved enormous success in a very short amount of time she hasn't even turned 40 she's 39 right now and she has already managed to become a millionaire and Mm -hmm. she's selling her works all over the world in hong kong in new york uh all over and uh one of the reasons for her success is obviously the fact that she well won multiple awards which are um extremely uh prestigious in the world of painting But at the same time, she has been recognized by one of the most famous New York-based galleries called the Gagosian Gallery, which is based in Chelsea. And this is one of the more, I'd say, powerful and influential uh, uh, galleries, which uh, they are trendsetters. They're the ones to determine what is going to be the next thing in fashion, so to say, when it comes to art. So once you're represented by them, you become immensely successful. Uh, but obviously, they also need to see that there's potential in what you do, right? They're not just exactly. going to choose anybody. Yes. They have to choose and select the right candidates, those people who can really sort of um, represent and showcase their skills. And Eva Yushkevich, in that respect, well, she's a very talented woman. And uh, yes, she does uh, indeed um, get she, her artworks are inspired by classical art. Uh, directly, because she yes. does uh, copies of 18th and 19th century paintings, but with a modern twist, because she adds a bit of surrealism to her paintings. And all of the portraits that she creates, uh, she does not show the face. Instead, she mm-hmm. hides it behind, uh, for example, shawls or mm-hmm. flower or so, yeah, exactly. So in that respect, exactly. very <laughs> yeah, we're both wearing shawls. Yes, it's quite yes. windy here, so that's also one of the reasons why I have it here. But yes, so uh, Katia, what do you think is going to become the next um, trendy type of art uh, in the near future, in let's say five years or so? Uh, from what I feel, I don't know if it will be like yes. this or not. Uh, in my opinion, more and more actually will be trans as um, uh, artworks influenced uh, by Caravaggio, for, for instance, or Raphael, the way they that they are using the lightning with the deep mm-hmm. dark shades and uh, mm-hmm. highlights uh, only with body highlights only with the lightning. So on this contrast. 
-hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. mild uh, pastel uh, colors, not very vivid. I think uh, that would be uh, in a trend. Mm -hmm. Right. So you think that pastel colors, but also dramatic more highlights yes, yes, will become exactly. more popular when it comes to visual art. But do you yes. think this will... So you're speaking of uh, visual art as in painting, yes? Yes, or do you in also painting. Mean graphics? Actually, if, uh, if we'll notice uh, this trend uh, nowadays, uh, from what I saw, yes. uh, the popular brands as Deer, for instance, they are trying to showcase, they are starting to showcase uh, their runways. Uh, uh, for example, mm -hmm. in Louvre, or in uh, mm -hmm. some yes. classical palaces. Uh, so as we see mm -hmm. all the show and then the photo sessions, they are looking yes. like old paintings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, that's very interesting what you're saying and quite insightful, I must say. Uh, I think you may be right when it comes to let's say um, being inspired yes. inspired by old masters. Uh, I mean, I to some degree have been also inspired by many years by artists such as uh, Dürer or yes, Bosch yes. or Rembrandt when it comes to my graphics. So, I mean, I'm very much uh, looking forward to that sort of uh, trend because uh, this means that I could also use my skills that I already yes. possess uh, and uh, use it for my own, let's say, um, well, yeah, I mean, I could definitely... Um, become successful then and i believe you the same applies successful. to you <laughs> well thank you okay yes i am <laughs> let's 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 have just one small remark you are and uh, perhaps uh, become as successful as ever you're who knows maybe i'm not saying i will but we never know what happens and what exactly. what, what lies in the yes. future you might also become extremely successful in that respect like ever you and we might the you know, we might both become millionaires at some point. Yes. Nobody ever knows. It's impossible to tell right now. But when it comes to the art trends, I think we're both in that respect uh, spot on. And uh, like I said, I think it's great that this is the direction that visual arts is going towards. Because uh, honestly, I feel like there has been a lot of also conceptual art shown at expos. For example, in Art Basel a few years ago was the very famous example of a person who attached a banana yes, with Dr. That's my favorite. Yes. yes, that's right. That's a What's great example. However, it? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. However, it was not the banana and the duct tape that was a work of art. Uh, it was the idea and the concept of attaching the banana with duct tape to the wall. Uh -huh. Therefore, the person who managed to sell it actually sold a license to produce this artwork indefinitely, oh, really? yes, in that. many different I, parts of I the world. I didn't know you about the license, so... Well, yes, there was a license. We cannot... And got glue, for wait, 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 we cannot glue banana with you? Maybe it can be lemon? I don't know. I think perhaps, well, maybe we could uh, create our own uh, license and have a patent. So we, can, where, we cannot, we cannot yeah. attach banana on a canvas? Oh my God. No, I don't think we can. I mean, I suppose we could, but then I'm not sure whether we would be breaking copyrights in that okay. respect. So, so yeah, guys, uh, we, we would really appreciate your comments. What do you think about uh, conceptual art like this? Do I understand it or not? And uh, please share yes. your opinion with us because it's very interesting for us. As we yes, are, yes, absolutely. Yeah, we are looking with okay, Camila so from our perspective, from the artist, and uh, for me, I'm interested to know, like, what do you think about it? Well, yeah, and also, don't forget, guys, that um, you're the ones who are deciding what's going to be our next topic of discussion, uh, because the next topic that we had at one of our uh, fans. Uh, asked us to spe specifically talk about trends when it comes to uh, art marketing. But if there's anything else that you would like us to discuss, please let us, let us know in the comment section and we'll happily oblige because you're the ones who matter, right? Your opinion matters to us. You are important to yes, us. Yes, exactly. We want to hear what you have to say when it comes to the art market. We're interested in your opinion.
We are interested, we are interested in your opinion and uh, we would like you uh, to share with us uh, what, what you want to know. Maybe there is some part of the art world that is hidden from you because uh, like we are looking from it from the inside from our, for us community with Camila it's everything clear it's like it should be but uh, if there is something that intri intrigues you or you would like to know something more maybe some kind of even provocative topics can be why not yes are, absolutely i think uh, that's definitely a great idea for a discussion uh although i think discussions always need to be respectful i think mitch yes. was respect is here very important but well, i don't yeah. think anything wrong about uh, provocative topics when it comes to art because i think anything can be discussed as long as it do as it's done in a respectful manner. Uh, anyway, so Katya, do you have any last thoughts when it comes to um, uh, our topic of discussion? Is there anything else you would like to add to this? Um, and oh, I have uh, actually the idea. What uh, if, um, uh, in, because uh, our last topic was about artificial intelligence uh, and uh, it comes uh, uh, like a lot of a lot of reaction about it and the people were really interested about it to know more so yes. what do you think about if we continue this topic and uh, i have one small idea what we can show maybe in one of our next sessions i will not tell oh, it it right. will be our I, secrets great. so yes guys please uh, follow us and uh, see our next news Yes, because that is the right. idea I have, I think it will be something really great. Oh, yeah, I, I know connected, what you're talking about. Connected but I'm not artificial to intelligence. No, it's our secret. Yeah, no. yeah it's our just secret. Anyway, it's just between yes. me and you, Camila. <laughs> that is correct. And anyway, Katia, yes. thank you. Yep. Thank Sorry. Thank you so much. You... And, um, thank you uh... so much, Katia, for today's discussion. That was very interesting, and uh, I appreciate your insight into the world of art and what is happening right now in the trends. And uh, anyway, so thank you again. Take thank care and uh, I'll see you back in Warsaw then. See you back in Warsaw. I'm see waiting you. for you in Warsaw. Yeah. Have a great, have a great uh, holidays and uh, send us more pictures. Guys, if you would thank like you. to have uh, to, to know more about Athens and Agropol, please write uh, us in comments and next video we will share uh, some more information and maybe photos from Camila's journey. Excellent. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you, Katia. Take care. I'm waiting guys. for your photos. <laughs> I will and most for you certainly. too. Bye, yes. guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.